Christopher Fennell, Fennell Studios out of Alabama, Birmingham, Alabama. I travel the country doing public art. So it was called Bike Train, but it has been dubbed by the locals as Bike NATO. Sort of like Sharknado, more bicycles. It is a train of bicycles with the wheels connected so that it's like a chain. The idea was to sort of embody the light rail system. So what we did is we put it on a color-coded, like subway color-coding pipes. And there's seven, each weigh about a thousand pounds. It gave people the ability to be dynamic, to go different places, to take opportunities. So I pictured a tornado, a sort of a vortex of this energy. The idea of using bicycles that are all different is the idea that we as individuals that get on the light rail system are all unique. And we made 50 bikes. And I think there's 32 on here, but we had 50 laid out so that it was like a pallet. So while you were building, you could go, what color do we want? What kind of bike do we want? We got all of these bicycles from RTD. Every two months, they sell all the lost and found bicycles that have not been claimed. I said, I need bicycles, and I want bicycles from the neighborhood. Not where I live in Alabama, but here in Colorado. Now the bike I'm working on is called Big Red. And this is my favorite bicycle because it was obviously a mountain bike that someone had spray painted red and then stenciled on it Big Red. And I was just like, how could they ever give up this bike? This is so awesome. The only thing we did to change it is we gave it steel tires. Structurally made it safe and made it so it could stay here for a long time. This is the 13th Avenue station. If you're shooting along the rail line, you're gonna remember where the bicycle tornado is. And that gives a, a landmark, but it also sort of gives a face to this area. And hopefully it will inspire people to make art, follow their dreams. I mean, if I can do it, anyone can do it. It's just, you just have to be tenacious. So that's it.